Hello, and welcome to Proteus, the latest and most powerful AI model in Topaz Video Enhance AI. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use Proteus to upscale and sharpen video, fix compression artifacts, remove noise, and anti-alias any aliased content. Once you've launched Video Enhance AI, choose the Browse option and select the videos that you'd like to process. Let's get started with upscaling standard definition video. Now, this clip over here is standard definition at a resolution of 720 by 405. So now we want to upscale this to 4K using the new Proteus model. So under the AI model selector, make sure you select Proteus. Next, I usually like to start out by simply selecting the auto feature that automatically sets the six sliders to the best position for this particular video. And then finally, under sizing, we're going to select 4K Ultra HD video. And that's it. When you choose preview, after a few seconds of processing, wow. The results are spectacular. As we pause these frames and go through them one frame at a time, the first thing I want you to notice is if you look at the upper left of the cheetah, there is practically no hair that's visible from the standard definition clip. Whereas on the right hand side, the AI is actually hallucinating or imagining all these fine details. Well, what's even more amazing is that these details are temporally coherent. That means they move naturally. So as we look at the body of the cheetah, we could see that on the left-hand side, there really isn't too many details that are on his fur. Whereas in contrast on the right, the upscaled video through Proteus has produced all this incredible fur that was simply invisible in the original standard definition video. So this is what happens when we use just the default settings that are in Video Enhance AI. As you can see, they produce incredible results. But let's say we want to take this a little further and take control of the Proteus model. Because in contrast to some of the other models that are in Video Enhance AI that don't have any controls, the main strength of Proteus is your ability to fine tune all the settings to be exactly the way you want them to be. So for this clip, here's a couple of things we're going to change. First, for the revert compression, there really isn't too many compression artifacts, so we're going to turn that off. Recover details, I'm going to bring that up just a little bit higher. Sharpen is pretty good. Reduce noise, there's really no noise in this clip, so we can bring that all the way down to zero. Dehalo is for videos that might have haloing problems, like old analog content. So we'll bring that down to zero as well. And de-blur is perfect. This is when Proteus is going to remove any kind of blur that could be either from the lens blur or just a little softness in your videos. We're good with the settings. We choose preview once again. So now, after a few seconds of processing, the results are a lot better than what we had the last time. As we transition to another clip, let's take a look at what happens when you process videos that are coming from standard definition that could be either on a DVD, a DV tape, or any other analog material. So as we look at this video, the first thing that you notice is that the aspect ratio is four by three. So we're gonna use the Proteus model to upscale this to high definition. So we're gonna select here HD at 1920 by 1080. We'll choose the auto option just like before, but you'll notice that there are actually two different ways of handling a 16 by nine ratio. We can either choose to turn off crop to fill frame, which means that now it's going to place black bars along the left and the right side of your video, or you can choose to crop to fill frame, which means that now your standard definition video will be cropped so it will perfectly fit inside of a 16 by nine window. Now let's look at sharpening your existing videos. Now this video here might seem like it's perfectly sharp, but we're gonna make it even better. So once you got the video selected, as always, select with the Proteus model, 
We're going to choose the auto option, but this time we don't want to change the size of the video. So we're going to maintain just 100%. So we're not going to be upscaling our video. This particular video does not have any compression problems, so we turn that off. Recover details is fine, sharpen is fine. There's really no noise in this video, so we turn that off. Dehalo, we don't need that. And for deblur, we're going to bring that up just a little bit. And let's ask for a preview. After a few seconds of processing, wow. As we get closer to the video, we could see that in the original video on the left, we really can't see the textures that are on her face or the textures that are on her clothing. As we pause and advance through the frames, it seems like everything in the video is sharper and better. Details that were simply hidden in the original video have now been enhanced and are now more visible. Now let's move on to one of the biggest problems in videography, which is low light or noise. So in this clip, this is 25,600 ISO. Let's go to a good frame to do a little preview. And we're going to once again choose the Proteus model, choose auto. But this time, we want to be able to fine tune exactly the way the noise reduction is going to be done. The way we're going to do that is we start off with under view, selecting the comparison view, which brings up this four paned view. Starting from the upper right hand corner, we're just going to choose auto, which is what we've been doing for the previous examples. But next, in the lower left hand corner, we're going to use Proteus once again. But this time, right after you select auto, what I like to do is exaggerate some of the noise reduction. And I like to do that by first bringing up the revert compression. Let's bring up also reduce noise. So we're going to remove even more noise. There really isn't really too many halo artifacts. So we'll remove halo down to uh, zero. And for de-blurring, we'll bring that up just a little bit as well. And then finally, for the last option over here, we're going to do the same thing with the Proteus model. But this time, we're going to go the other way, which means we're going to bring down the revert model, bring down the reduce noise, and once you get the settings dialed in the way you like it, now it's time to preview all four panes at the same time. Now, as we analyze all four results, upper left-hand corner is our original footage. If you were to hover your mouse on any one of these pointers, it shows you exactly what the settings were for that particular pane in the four pane window. So it seems like the upper right hand corner is doing a pretty good job, but there are still some flickering compression artifacts that are here in the upper right. Whereas in the lower left hand corner, because we chose a higher amount of reducing compression artifacts, all that is gone. And then finally, in the lower right hand corner, we reduced the compression and the noise reduction settings. And that's why we still have some color noise that's left behind. So it looks like in this particular battle, the lower left hand corner is the winner. So as we go back to our controls, we're going to stick with the lower left as we choose a side by side comparison window. And I'm going to make one final tweak. And that is I'll introduce a little bit of grain here into our video just so that we don't get a plastic video kind of a look in our noise reduction. And we'll do another preview. I guess video noise is a thing of the past because now as we pause and advance through the frames, we can see really how bad the noise is on the pink pillows that are in the background. But more importantly, please notice the details that are on her blue teddy bear. It just seems like the denoise technology in Proteus is doing an amazing job at maintaining all the fine details on the teddy bear while it miraculously removes all the noise. Next, let's look at some compression artifacts. Now, this video over here was compressed with really, really low compression settings, which means that the resulting file size is really small. And therefore, we have a variety of macro blocking artifacts, which are these little squares that you see all over the video that we want to eliminate now using the Proteus AI model. Select Proteus. We're going to choose Auto. And you can see that automatically Proteus understands that the revert compression has to be high for this particular video. 
We're going to leave that the way it is. Recover details is fine. Sharpen is great. Reduce noise. We really don't have too much noise, so we're going to bring that down to zero. There's really not too many halo problems, so we'll bring that down to zero. And we're going to bring up the de-blur here just a little bit as well. We're going to scale this video up by 200%. And let's do a quick preview. As we examine the results, the first thing that we noticed is all of the macro blocking problems have now disappeared. But even more importantly, as we look at the mountains here in the background, in the original video, the compression problems are removing any of the subtle details that are on the mountains. Whereas now, as we look at the right hand side, we could see that the AI is rendering in all these subtle details that are going to add realism to the snow. It's really hard to believe that such a highly compressed video can be transformed so easily with Proteus. And now the last thing that we're going to look at is removing aliasing problems from either computer generated material or from sensors that drop out pixels or scan lines. Any video that you might have that suffers from aliasing, and uh, aliasing is essentially these jaggies, where you can see the pixelated edges that look like the stair-stepping problems. So we want to fix that now, once again, using the Proteus model. Select Proteus. We're going to choose Auto. But this time around, let's not use any compression. There's no need to recover details or sharpening or reduce noise or even dehalo. The only feature that we're interested in now is anti-aliasing, and that's why we're going to bring that slider all the way to an extreme. We're also going to upscale this 400% just so you can really see the difference between the aliased video and the anti-aliased version of it. As we look at the playback from the preview, on the left-hand side, it is really obvious how badly the stair-stepping problems are on our character, on the frame. Everywhere we look in this computer-generated image, there are aliasing problems. Whereas on the right-hand side, all the aliasing has simply disappeared. So this is a great example of how easily you can remove any aliasing problems from your videos or from your computer generated content. So now that we're done setting up all of our videos, the only thing that we have to do now is select all, which selects all of the videos that we've already set up and just choose the start processing button in the lower right hand corner. And that's it. To learn more or download your free trial, visit topazlabs.com forward slash video dash enhance dash AI.